Hi, I'm Rick Castellini, host of Castellini on Computers radio show and the HelpMeRick.com website. Now we're going to show you how to upgrade your CD-ROM to either a DVD burner, which is probably the best thing to do these days, most affordable, and it'll do everything. It'll write any kind of a CD or DVD. You need to get into your computer, again, keep yourself grounded, and you need to disconnect two cables, sometimes three. First cable you need to disconnect, is, and you just kind of wiggle it side to side, is the power cable. And you'll notice that the yellow cable always goes to the outside of the CD burner. Then you reach inside and you have to disconnect what's called the IDE cable and just wiggle that loose and it comes out and make sure that you're watching which cable you disconnected so you can reconnect the proper one when you get the new drive in. Deep inside there, there is a third cable, small little cable inside, that's the sound card cable. The only thing that does is allow you to plug headphones into the front of your CD-ROM so when you disconnect that, that's an optional thing to reconnect to your new drive, but we'll probably do that. You can see that there, small little cable for the sound card. Now to get the actual drive out of the system, sometimes you're going to have to unscrew a couple of screws from inside the case. This is a particular system that's modular and there's little what's called rails that we're going to just have to squeeze together. And on this one we just push in these little black clips, sometimes they're green push them together and you just pull the drive straight out and you see that the drive comes out. If your computer has the rails, these little guys here on the old drive, you need to take them off the old drive, put them onto the new drive. This particular kind of a rail just simply pops off. You can see it has some little tabs on the back so it makes it easy. Some of them screw in. So I'm going to take both of the rails off the old drive. Now we're going to take the new drive out of the cellophane, make sure it's oriented the right direction. When we took the old drive out, these rails were on the bottom two screws, so we have to put them in the same place for the new one. And again, this is kind of a nice one, it just pops in on both sides. I'm just placing the old rail in there, and they pop into place. When you pull out the old drive, whether it's a hard drive or a CD burner or CD drive, you need to pay particular attention to this spot. It's kind of hard to see it on the video, but there's a little what's called a jumper. And there's three settings on most drives. One is called Cable Select, one is called Slave, one is called Master. And you need to make note of where that pin is, that jumper is, on the old system. Because when you get your new drive in there, you need to make sure it's on the same one. Now my new drive is set to be the slave. The old one was cable select, so I need to change that. So to change that pin, you simply use your fingernail and you pull that pin off and then you place it on the correct spot for the jumper setting that you need. Once you get the jumper set properly, now you can slide your drive back into its spot, straight through the front. I like these modular ones where everything clicks into space. Then we just need to turn the, the uh, computer around and connect the three cables that we unplugged. The hardest one to plug in is the sound card. It helps to have somebody holding a flashlight sometimes. Next we're going to plug in the gray IDE cable. And just as a little hint, all IDE cables, these little gray cables, have a red stripe going down the side of them and the red stripe is usually to the right of most drives but there's a notch on the cable itself so you'll notice right where it goes it can only go one way never force cables because if you're forcing them you might bend something inside the computer so make sure it's seated well and we'll plug in the power and we're ready to go with a new CD drive. Once you turn the computer on, Windows will automatically see the CD drive. The only thing you need to install is if your CD drive came with burning software, use the burning software that came with the drive and uninstall your old CD burner software.